kids alive. We may experience mood swings, agitation, confusion. Can you smoke in here? I'm afraid you can't. Name's Floyd. Dr. I told me that you were a writer. Would you consider writing my biography? Biography? What I'm proposing is that you come and stay with me and my family until you get yourself back on your feet. Aloha, Jackie. Jacqueline, Floyd's second wife. She was a successful attorney. Lily? Lily was Floyd's daughter from his first marriage. Is my boy Eddie? Edward. He reminded me of myself. Hey, hey, hey. Is that a dead rabbit? Yeah, pretty much. Very good. Welcome to the family. Floyd tells me that the two of you are working on a book. It's a secret. Is it? Mm -hmm. I've done many great things with my life, and everybody's going to read about it when the time is right. Military, government, etc. What made you join the military? Well, we'll get to that. I'm sorry. Still getting my wits about me. It's OK. You're doing great. Hey. Are you all right? Is that you? Of course, who'd you think it was? Floyd, I've been looking for you. Oh, thank you. Well, there's a lot more where that came from. By the way, just joined us. All right. Hey, Adam, how are you? Nice to meet you. You came in at just the right moment, apparently. Yeah, I mean, I'm hearing abortion and gun talk. It's funny. It's, just hard. <laughs> it's all I think about is. I'm glad this is being recorded, by the way. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Oh, and, and yeah, and I, I, I think uh, I'm doing a special feed going live on Twitch or something. No, I'm kidding. Adam. Okay. <laughs> wow. Well, I'll get out of your way. So, All right, enjoy so you'll guys. disappear. All right, there she goes. All right, so let's pretend we're just meeting. Sure. Which I guess essentially we are. We uh, certainly are. Brian uh, Petzos, writer, director of uh, Big Old Brick, producer Greg Lortano. You got it right. Yeah. I, I pride myself on not butchering or keeping the name butchering to a minimum. My we mom would appreciate that. We were talking about South by Southwest, so I felt like so much has gone on in Texas in the last since I last was there. It's always been a red state, but it's like you know Austin is like a, the bubble, right? But I just feel like it's just gone off the rails in the last year or two, you know, Texas. So I'm not sure I would have gone even if I had the ability to go this year. I, I'm not sure I would would have made the choice to spend any money in texas right now but uh anyway and film festivals aren't the same as they used to anyway that's a good i don't know i just i've been to you know probably 100 200 i don't know but i i just never i haven't been in in a little i went to the woodstock film festival for like a day which is near where i am right now last fall um and that was nice i think i will keep to the small ones yeah, that's probably for the best. You know. Speaking of which, talk, tell me about the festivals that you guys. Uh, I mean, has has Big Old Brick been in uh, a few festivals? Been in none. None been festivals. None. Yeah, yeah. It's um, the it's the short film, <laughs> the short film that I made prior to this feature it was called Lightning Face, starring Mr. Oscar Isaac. That played about. 35 festivals, I believe. Um, but you didn't go to them. No, I didn't go to all of them. I actually did go to a handful. My favorite probably being BFI in London. Mm. Um, that was that was really, really fun. But um, yeah, with we sort of made a, a very decisive kind of look at each other and kind of skipped that whole thing um, with this film. Um, pandemic played a lot into that and sure it was just a very very strange time and we just kind of just kind of made that decision and and here we are right and you know how many festivals um, did licorice pizza play in is my question that's a good question i think zero 
Think it, zero. Zero festivals. Yeah. But I was going to say, even if it did, it wasn't, it wasn't like it went through the same channels or process that an independent film what you know would have gone through right it just automatically gets sort of invited into a festival i don't i'm saying this more for the benefit to the benefit of our our audience out there sure for sure that that uh you know like um um but you guys got distribution and maybe uh in part from your mentioned uh, oscar isaac in a one of the main one of the roles in this film um and of course andy garcia megan fox i mean it's pretty got an incredible time emory cohen and of course um lucy hale let's mention everybody yes in the core cast um uh do you want to talk about uh well i am talking too much but uh and greg kudos to you you have the post right behind you so we can yes of course how to do it how to do it yeah Um, i have 10 of them of the same kind right here in the office the same exact one (laughs) <laughs> wait uh so you can maybe you can stick one in the mail i'll, I'll put it up and, uh, uh, absolutely so uh, uh, a film about connection right i mean can we say that's probably uh important to you uh greg as and and greg uh and 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 sorry brian um the two guys couldn't be more different meet uh uh one is uh, hits another one and with their car it's kind of an unusual way to meet um but they do and they they, it's all about their journey together uh connecting um ultimately uh the character played by um by uh amory of course is brought on to write andy garcia's biography right uh so that's kind of the but their journey is about uh kind of navigating their their friendship for sure for sure yeah it's um it's one of the things i've i've kind of you know i've been sort of asked like what is the film about and you always want to try to find something very simple to say um and of course that's that's not always an easy task but um one of the things i say it's about is is about family And I say that in the sense of, you know, finding your family. Um, And ultimately it's, it is about connection. And um, as you said, two very different people uh, in very different life circumstances meeting and sort of developing a familial bond. Um, And and that's what happens with these two who really couldn't be more different. (laughs) Yeah. Did you, how did you uh, come across Oh, I mean, and your casting is also really good. I mean, it, it, these guys are very, very much uh, perfectly cast for their roles that they have. Um, what, did you intend, did you envision actors like that when you wrote it? Or do you have anybody in mind? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's I try not to write with too much of an idea of specific people in mind, um, yeah. if I can help it. Because you're going to be vastly disappointed if you do most of the time, right? For sure. And I also, I don't, I don't want to project that on real world people. Um, You know, so I have kind of this ambiguous idea of each of these characters. Of course, it's impossible to not, you know, Greg and I are producing partners and we produced the movie together. And so as a producer, when I have my producer hat on and Greg and I talk, we're, you know, we're, oftentimes making lists of actors and stuff but I I have to say you know Andy Garcia is was so high on my creative list um and you know these things kind of come together organically in certain senses and you know before you know it the moment when I was on the phone with Andy Garcia I was like this is an absolute dream come true someone who I have sort of worshipped as a performer since my childhood um, and I just love the idea of him. And so stepping away from the script, just, you know, thinking Andy Floyd, Andy Floyd, Andy Floyd. Right. Uh, it's very exciting to watch it actually happen. Um, so yeah, I'm very thankful. Um, Emery as well. Emery is, you know, he's the kind of actor that I, you know, 
I, having seen him in Place Beyond the Pines and, and, and other stuff, um, when I saw him in Brooklyn, and I told Emery this, I'm, I'm, I kind of nerd out occasionally and I'll like run out of a theater down the street excited and seeing Emery in Brooklyn um, really made a mark on me and I just thought I really would love to work with this guy at a point and so again when when the opportunity came up I just sort of an embarrassment of riches for me as a, as a fan as a film fan um, yeah those those two guys uh, wow feel very lucky. And the comic, I mean, it's a comedy. So they, did they get that they got it? I mean, did you guys, you, I can't imagine you had too much of a opportunity for rehearsing, unless I'm mistaken. No, and I'm actually very sort of anti-rehearsal. Um, I, I actually, I do a ton of preparation, but the idea of doing formal rehearsals to me is something that I'm just not into. I, I come from like a, I am a former actor. I, I come from an improv background and Second City. Um, yes, yes, Second City in Chicago. Um, studied there mm -hmm. for for a while. And um, so yeah, I, I come to the table with that sort of approach to you know making stuff on the day, but you know, there's a lot of intense discussion beforehand about the the script and about the characters with the individual performers and then we just kind of get to the set and do it. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of people think, oh, the first take is the best take. And sometimes that is true, but sometimes it's the second take. Um, Nobody's told Stanley Kubrick. No, but you know, <laughs> look, if, if you gave me Stanley Kubrick budgets on a relative basis, I could probably give you 65 takes. <laughs> but when, when, when you have a 40 day shoot and 30 days to shoot it, Right, Greg. And your will cast pass. may be less forgiving if you aren't Stanley Kubrick asking for sixty-five yeah. takes. You know, you I mean, know, we had yeah. sixty locations on this film that we had to shoot in thirty days. With yeah, and was it four hundred days of VFX shots? And I mean, it was an you impossible were, task that became possible. This was your domain, right? Making sure people got to those locations was that part well the two of you use you are producing well, Brian's a producer as well but I think you know once we get to set Brian tries to take his producer hat off a little bit and I, I kind right. of take over that end of things but Brian's definitely super collaborative on the on the producing front um Greg, you focus on a lot of on development on the developing of the um the I do develop phase. I do develop certain things you know with Brian's stuff you know, I, I read the script and I was like, I wouldn't change a semicolon on the script. Um, you know, Brian's very deliberate with what he writes and he kind of perfects everything he puts on the page. And so in terms of like my working style with Brian, it's really not development. Um, it's more production, financing, casting, just managing everything as a whole. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I, I got to tip my hat to, to Brian, the, the script is, is absolutely his. Uh, name of the movie is called Big Gold Brick. It's opening on February 25th in, um, in theaters, VOD and digitally streaming. Uh, where, what theaters is it gonna be in? So if you want to actually go outside and go to a movie. <laughs> Can you imagine yeah. that leaving your home and going to a theater? Um, we're, it's going to be a bunch. I mean, here in New York, we're going to be at Angelica. Um, uh, oh, nice. Yes. Yes. So we're very excited. It's a theater that we, we, we really quite like. Um, and, uh, yeah, but there's, uh, I would say check your local listings. Um, even though we're just a few weeks out, I do believe we're still adding theaters. Yeah. Uh, and, and I'm, I'm fully aware of the fact that obviously most people are, are not going to see it in the theater, but I'm very happy that um, some people will have the opportunity to. Right. Are you in Brooklyn? Or are you? I am. I'm actually uh, in Manhattan. Greg is in Brooklyn. Oh, okay. So yes. worlds apart. No. Well, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, yes. Yeah, sometimes I'm like, <laughs> I look like you guys are wearing t-shirts. It looks like, and I'm just like thinking maybe they're on the West Coast <clears throat> or something. I'm freezing. Uh, <laughs> but I'm this is the most to expensive t-shirt I have. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but I'm a bit north of the city, so it's it's a little probably a little chillier. But um, 
Uh, so, to, okay, so what, uh, how did you guys develop this relationship? You already said, Brian, you uh, cast Oscar Isaac, who, you know, is as big a star now as you can get. Um, and so, like, how did that happen? And um, it's so, he's really camping it up in this film, but, you know, having a good time, obviously. <laughs> Um, how did how did that relationship come about? Yeah, Oscar and I, um, you know, we sort of met um, kind of when I was still acting. We're both okay. here in New York, and we actually had the same agent at the time, and so we were introduced that way. Um, and then, you know, obviously transitioning to me directing Oscar, you know, starting with with Tiki Tacky, um, the short film. Um, and then uh, about two years later, we did Lightning Face. And Lightning Face was sort of a companion piece to the Big Old Brick screenplay. Although the, the two things aren't really related, um, uh, those two things were sort of kind of built at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, and so Oscar was, yeah, the first person to the table for, for Big Old Brick. And um, yeah, I'm just endlessly grateful to him. He's incredible he's an incredible person i consider him a very good friend and uh ultimately an amazing supporter right. and uh, that's amazing because yeah. the guy is working like all over the place you know but i guess he's a damn good actor <laughs> he is a good actor he, he did that limited series anyway i, I don't want to oh yeah that. the um yes the holy HBO. crap the remake yeah. of uh, scenes from a, a marriage. That's right. Yes. Yeah. It's like, <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty intense. It was, certainly was. Yeah, it was. But, uh, so so good. was Sigmar Bergman. So you know, very very true. <laughs> Greg, uh, what's your background? Uh, how did you get into this? Uh, sure. Yeah, I actually started in finance, working at a studio, Twentieth uh, Century Fox, for a bit, and then. I couldn't take it anymore and I quit, <laughs> which is when I actually uh, met Brian originally. Um, and a mutual friend had sent me his script and I loved it so much. I had to get on a plane and go to New York. I was in LA at the time and meet I with see. him. And that's that's kind of how it all kind of got started with Brian. And and Greg, I. And I, Greg and I clicked really hard and my former producing partner, who is now a director <laughs> uh -huh. and I was it was a perfect time to sort of bring someone on uh, as Greg alluded to I I tend to so I sort of look at myself as kind of developing my own stuff right um and I really I really needed a new partner and um Greg and I you know we really built this thing from the ground up um together and at this point now Greg has his whole slate of other stuff that he's doing but um, you know, putting this one together was a was a damn slog for the two of us. As you said, Greg, uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, sets in this movie. There's a lot, actually, quite a bit of action, even though it is a comedy. But there's quite a few action scenes. There's gun play. Well, I don't know if you call it play. Oh yeah, <clears throat> but I mean, they're pretty convincing. It looks pretty pretty. Uh, uh, I mean, it doesn't come like across like some, you know, low budget indie film. That's for sure. Yeah, well, I a lot of, a care, lot of honestly, there's a lot of people that you can accredit that to. I mean, we had an amazing production designer, Justin Ludwig, who took, okay. you know, X amount of dollars that we had and made it look 10 times what it was. You know, the cinematography is obviously really well done. And mm -hmm. we just had such a great crew. We had a great stunts team, a uh, great locations team. I mean, if you even look at the trailer, you're seeing we're shooting at a castle one moment and shooting at the side of a lake another moment. And, some of those locations ended up being the same day and we're running around where, kind of where, crazy. Where did all this take place? In Toronto, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we had I will, a great I will say, I will say, you know, we, for, a, for this being my debut feature, mm -hmm. we had a, what I would consider a fair amount of money um, to spend, but it was still less than what I wrote. <laughs> um, totally. Moving, moving the production to Toronto saved us a bunch. And then the rest was just a few kind of late concessions in the screenplay. Mm -hmm. um, and then when I say that we shot 48, <clears throat> 30, that's the remainder of the whole being plugged there. 
Um, and Greg also, I mean, there was, you know, I had my eyes fe feasting on very large locations in Toronto. And oftentimes it was Greg, not even the locations department. It was literally Greg going and getting crazy locations for about a 16th of the price. Greg, like that's, I mean, Greg is my body man. It's he's wow. an incredible, resourceful, gregarious, right. charming man. <laughs> wow. I don't yeah, know if my mom the, he is that. he is the Michael Clayton in my world. Yeah. <laughs> it's the fixer. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh uh what was I gonna say? Oh, did you shoot anything in Mississauga? We did. We did. Really? Yes, we did. Yeah, several things. I believe we shot a big theater out there, which is go a gorgeous, beautiful red velvet theater. Mm -hmm um i think we shot some 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 road stuff out there as well um anything else brian we, we were all we were all over the all Toronto over, yeah. area um and as greg said there were days where um there were several company moves my personal last day shooting the, the last day shooting the film i personally shot 22 hours with three different crews wow um yeah. and i don't know i think we, we may have been like 15 locations the last day. I mean, it was, it was total insanity. And well, I was, should have, I, I should only say this, that, you know, after all of that and spending, I mean, uh, doing all that work in, in Toronto, you should have uh, at least gotten this movie into TIFF. My goodness. Well, you know, um, anyway, yeah, I mean, I, I think at that, you know, at this point we just sort of embraced, um, we just wanted to kind of get the movie out. Goldwyn had had come in and shown us so much love, and um, yeah. they really got the movie and they really loved it. And um, you know, I I couldn't be happier um, that the film's coming out now and 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 with them. And um, yeah, festivals be damned. And yeah, and I think. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, Greg. Please. No, no I was just going to say I think what Goldwyn really loved about it is it really kind of harkens back to cult classic cinema. And escapism, right. which is what cinema is really about. And if you look at the Great Depression, what did really well it was movies. And because well, people wanted to go now, in. So, yeah. you know, exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, I, I think it's a movie. Depressed. Yeah. Totally. It's a movie where you go in and you suspend disbelief for, for two hours or whatever right. it is, and you walk out feeling something different. You in know? the tradition of great buddy movies, too, right? Absolutely. I mean, you know, can say. Uh, Big Old Brick, again, uh, opening on February 25th, uh, streaming, on demand, you name it. And uh, directed and written by Brian Petzos. Did I get that right? Petzos? You did. You did indeed. And uh, produced in part by Greg Loretano, starring Andy Garcia and Emery Cohen. And um, Ed Al, Oscar, I, I, again, Megan Fox. And, you know, it's <laughs> Thank you guys for carving out some time and I appreciate it. And I wish you nothing but luck. Absolutely. Thank, thank you so much, Adam. We really Let's appreciate it again. Yeah. 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 Thanks, we'll, Adam. We'll do it again at the next. Really appreciate feature. it. For sure. For sure. Right. There will definitely be one. Okay. And next time Tatum can get on and stay on. I, I <laughs> there she is. Come no, that's just for the stars of the film. There you go. So oh. then them shine. So. <laughs> awesome. Excellent. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you so much, Thanks, guys. everyone. Bye. We'll talk to you. All righty. Take care. Okay. See you. Bye.